good afternoon, good morning, good evening from anywhere you are in the world. So you're welcome to my channel. If you're just joining, um, you're welcome. And for my old subscribers, I know probably you're just seeing this for the first time. Yes, yes, yes. I used to be a video director back then in Nigeria. Yeah, I was the founder of Light Studios, Light Digital Studios in Nigeria before I moved down to Thailand. And um, I said, let me give YouTube a try. Though I've been, I've not been consistent with YouTube until I came to Thailand because like everything I need is in my hands, like in just very close to me. I have... Um, I have um, the, the free internet, I have digital camera, I have everything, but I the consistency was just all I needed. So what I did was more like, I started using my phone to just do random shoots and I started making content on how to help people leave Nigeria to relocate to abroad. And guess what? Like the turnout was really engaging. Like people really want to move from abroad, from, from Nigeria to abroad or probably in, in um, Africa, some country, because some people chatted me up from Zimbabwe, from Ghana, from different Morocco, from different countries. They really want to relocate to abroad, probably on a scholarship or a job route. So doing that content was more like it was the whole motivation I needed. And like, wow, like maybe content creating is my thing because most of the time I'm always at the back of the camera. So today, without wasting much of your time, I said, let me um, do this content in my school. So this beautiful mic, it's not my own. It's <laughs> owned by the school. So I just had to take it and say, let me make this video and set it up. So we're going to be talking about top 25 most difficult languages to learn. Yeah, you feel uh, Yoruba, Igbo, and um, um, Yoruba, Igbo also is difficult to learn. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking, like they are they are difficult, shall but I don't go lie, it gets some languages way, way hard. I was just surfing the internet and I saw it. I'm like, okay, let me make a content on it. Because people want to relocate to abroad, and most of these countries, some of them don't speak English. And you need to know like what's like um how difficult it is to learn the languages so that you can adapt is it something you can learn if you want to put your mind to so in this video you would understand um how difficult it is or um the country you are, you have in your mind what what's the number is ranking based on how difficult it is and if you don't find your country that you are planning to go to you don't find it in this top 25 that means i'm not saying it's not difficult but it's not as difficult as this 20 most uh, top 25 that i'm about to mention so let's dive in. I'm going to be saying it one more. It's going to be it's going to be fun. It's not going to be a boring uh, content. So you're going to join me and let's call and uh, let's um, call. We are going to start from 25 and we go down below. So um, I'll be there's a website that's okay. Okay, this is um, farandwide.com. So I don't know how how true is it, but let's see let's see what they have and let's see if the country that is in your mind is in this top 25 make you not be saying you run yeah, but may you just know say more that language hard like it's fucking difficult it's crazy so um uh, okay okay the, the, the first country that is uh, the first country oh, no not the first country the, the number 25 the, the number 25th country is croatia yeah croatian language and uh croatian language um, is spoken by 5.5 million people and it's commonly um, spoken in Croatia. So why is Croatia very difficult to, like, to learn? A part of Slavic language group, Croatia is considered one of the most difficult languages to learn. Croatia has seven cases. Why English only have has two? Wahala. Croatia has seven cases. Okay, English have to like English. English have three. That means English have um, capital letter, small letter, and um, English. How many? How many English gets? That is the cases we have. Okay, small letter, capital letter. Then you now use the two. You join it. But Croatia has seven cases. <laughs> Stop playing. In addition, Croatia is a small country with different dialects, making it difficult to grasp. Just one of them. If you're trying to immerse yourself in the language, why there? 
Like, so if you're thinking of going to Croatia, like, to Croatia is like one of the most difficult languages to learn, like the top 25. So we have a lot of numbers to go, so we keep going down. Number 24 is Tagalog. Tagalog, which country speaks Tagalog? You're going to be informed here. The country that speaks Tagalog is the Philippines. So if you ask, like, um, which language does the Philippines speak? The Philippines speaks Tagalog, and it's spoken by 74 million people. Wow, I didn't know that Philippine has a population. I didn't know that Philippine has a population of 74 million. Wow, crazy. Okay, we're all learning, and I believe you're learning too. So Tagalog features complicated grammar and sentence. Oh, well, this one, it, it choke. Like, Tagalog features a complicated grammar and sentence structure. That makes it hard to learn. Having originated in Philippine Island, Tagalog is the first language most Filipinos. Hmm, they call them the Filipinos. People from the Philippines, they are called the Filipinos. One of the most intriguing aspects of that of that emphasizes of is that okay. One of the most intriguing aspects is that it emphasizes can it emphasis can completely change the meaning of certain words. Mm, take a look at the word suka. If you emphasize the first syllable suka, then you are saying vomit. If you emphasize the second, the second suka, then you have vinegar. Very different. Crazy, crazy. Man, so vinegar like suka, suka, and. Su and suka two different meaning okay let's go to the third one the 23rd uh, one on um on the most difficult language 23 is danish 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 so danish is spoken by the denmark so if you're thinking of going to denmark denmark is like the 23rd most difficult languages to 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 learn like very difficult like 23rd is not really okay let's see what we have Pronunciation makes Danish one of the most difficult languages to learn. Phonetically, there are more than 20 vowel sounds in the Danish. Stop playing! <laughs> so if you say English, we get several... Uh, how many vowel sounds does English have? I forgot to know. A-E-I-O-U. English has five. And, and um, Danish language is having 20 vowel sounds. That's crazy. But I feel like vowel sound would make it um it would make a language more interesting and, and more easy because Swahili, Swahili has a lot of vowel sound and trust me, I love that language Swahili. Like Swahili is a beautiful language. If you think like Danish would be easy, you can put a comment on the description. Let's hear you. Or if you can speak Danish. Please contact me and let me hear how it sounds. <laughs> okay, so it has a lot of vowel sound, which is about 20 of them. Meanwhile, written Danish has three more vowel sound than English alphabets. Wow. This is a lot, man. The silent D can really throw learners for a loop with the DD in Jeg header sound. More like L. Wow, that's complicated, man. So we go to number 22 in the list. Gaelic. Gaelic. So which country speaks Gaelic? Ireland speaks Gaelic. Oh my, this one sounds like Gaelic. <laughs> Gaelic. Ireland speaks Gaelic. Gaelic. Okay. Uh, why is Gaelic so difficult to learn? Along with the finding places to use Gaelic, there is a major drop in usage in Ireland. Never mind globally. The language also has many grammatical cases and dialects that prove hard to pick up. It uses VSO, which is verb, subject, and object. Word order, which can be tricky for most. Ooh, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. And it's spoken by 1.2 million. They are not even plenty. Let their language go and sleep. I'm not learning. It's not, they are not even plenty. <laughs> so the number 21 on my list is Bulgarian. So Bulgarian is very, very difficult too, like, and it's made the least in the, in, in the top 21. So it's spoken by 10 million people. And why is it difficult to learn? Bulgarian uses Cyrillic alphabet, which can be tough for English speakers to learn. The verb conjugation can be intimidating too. 
with many variants and combinations to comprehend than other Slavic languages. For English speakers, an additional concern is the three gendered noun, all adverb and ad adjective, must have the same gender. Hmm. While well, they languages they Bulgarian, all these people that is uh, trying to go to uh, Bulgaria to live, you're seeing that it's like the most difficult number twenty one most difficult language in, in my top twenty five list. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, so let's go to the number twenty. Serbia, Serbia is like another most difficult language to learn. So why is Serbia very difficult? And who speaks Serbia? Which country speaks Serbia? Okay, there are about four countries speak Serbia. Um, um, Republic, Republic of Serbia speaks it. Bosnia, Bosnia has a governor. I remember this country, this country we play Nigeria that year. Then Montenegro. Seriously, I don't know this country. Then Kosovo. I know Kosovo. So um, the Slavic language consists of two scripts: the Cyrillic and the Latin. Hmm. Now, wonderful. Seven sentences and. A consonant that is also sometimes a vowel. Gender play a big part as well. For example, unique translates to male students. Some individual letters prove tricky as well. For instance, the letter S is similar to SH. About <laughs> uh, letter S is SH. Letter S will be like S. Nah, not like sh. Stop playing. <laughs> No place, no place. So, um, the number 19 is Czech. So, Czech, no, um, 10 million people speak Czech. 10 million people speak Czech. Wow. Why is Czech so difficult to learn? And um, I believe you all know Czech. Yeah. So, Czech, why is Czech so difficult to learn? Pronouncing Czech word is a nightmare for English users, <laughs> English speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Even to pronounce the name Czech, you know, it's spelled like C Z E C H. Like, I don't want to spell that word. Czech, 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 Czech. I wish the comment section can have a voice to too. I, I, I love to see how people would pronounce the word Czech. So the language is packed with mouthful of consonants. Ah, see, I swear, any language that has a lot of consonants, they had die. Consonant is more like the 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 the, the male of a, of of a language. Like the female are more like the the vowels. Vowels are sweet e i o u, but see those consonant k l m w z. Oh fuck! It, it's very very difficult. It's really very very difficult. So um, making the individual words total tongue twisters. Like it makes like the thing has a lot of tongue twisters. Check also have seven cases to learn with with each masculine fam family and neutral. Even more intimidating is the is that each of these cases has poorer forms to consider. So let's move on to the 18th one, which is the Abania. So um, Abania has 7.5 million people speaking it and it's popularly spoken in Kosovo and Abena. Like, Kosovo? Kosovo? Which country speaks Kosovo? I mentioned it earlier, and I think it's um, um, Serbia. So, like, they speak two languages. They speak Serbia, and they also speak um, Abena, too. Wow, that's, that's nice, Kosovo. Okay, I will try to wrap it up. I don't have to explain much. Then number 17 is Georgian, like Georgian, Georgian had, and it's spoken by 4 million people. So Georgia, like that's, Georgia is on the 17th. And um, the number 16 is Estonia. Number number 15 is Turkish. Ah, Turkish had, Turkish had. And Turkish is spoken by people, like people in Cyprus, Bulgaria, and Greece. Then Turkey itself. Wow, I never knew this. Yes, I never knew. But I think it's really educative, right? Because you don't know these languages and like so you know where you're going to or where you're anticipating to go to. So uh, the 14th is Farsi. Farsi. The Farsi, Farsi is a language spoken 
by the Irans. Ooh, beautiful. The Irans and the Afghanistans. They speak Farsi. Farsi, that's the name of the language. And it's spoken by 110 million people. 110 million people. The Farsi, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The name Farsi, like, let me see, um, get more details in, into it. It's known as, um, also known as the, pa the Persians. The Indo-European language is choke full of word English speakers can recognize. Thanks to so many English words originating from Farsi. Ooh, so many English words were originated from Farsi. Do you know that? Do you know that, that so many English words with we originated from Farsi. I really thought it was more from Greek and Latin. Farsi, the word, the, the language spoken by the Irans and the Afghanistans. No wonder they say they are the, they, they, they are really intelligent and like they really went to school. However, it remains one of the most challenging language to learn due to its unique alphabet script that differ from many Western languages. Farsi also reads from right to left. Woo, beautiful. Like, we they read from left to right, but first they read from right to left. Stop playing. Oh my, my eye goes go like this. Everything goes be left, 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 left. Happy now. Ah! But now you know that like, Farsi, many English words were originated from Farsi. Beautiful. Like I didn't know. Now let's go to 13th, the 13th, the Greek. Yeah, we all know the Greek. 13 million people speak Greek. And like the country that speaks Greek is Cyprus and Greece. Greece and Greek like is an old kingdom. Like utterly don't taste. It has stayed. Cyprus. Okay. And the number 12 is Russian. 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 Russian is difficult and is spoken by 258 million people. And the country that speaks Russia is Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, and Kazakhstan. These countries. I think they are sharing boundaries with Russia. And that is why they speak it. Yeah. So Russia speaks Russia speaks um, Russian. Ukraine speaks Russian. Belarus, Poland, and Kazakhstan. Yeah. So I, I think I really want to know why it's difficult. Russia can be difficult to, for English speakers due to the confusing pronunciation. For instance, why the language is made up of Latin letters. Many letters sound entirely different. The letter B sounds like V. <laughs> Wahala. And the letter H sounds like N. Russia also has many words where consonants are grouped together, which makes spelling and pronunciation difficult. Stop playing. Wow. I'm really learning from this, um, this YouTube class like i'm also learning because i didn't check it i just like let me just make a video from it um, i'm really learning so polish is like the number 11 the number 11 and it's spoken by 50 million people in poland like poland are the people that speak polish i uh, make we got no pol polish you <laughs> polish pronunciation can be doozy for learners for instance polish word for happiness is Omo Sinzisi. Hey, Sinzisi. I need to put this one on the video. Sinzisi. Sinzisi. <laughs> You're playing. <laughs> Another doozy is the 17 different cases for numbers, meaning there are 17 ways to say one number. <laughs> Um, another doozy is the 17 different cases for numbers, meaning there are 17 ways to say one number. Like, if you want to talk number 10, if you talk number 10 like 17 times, we you don't still understand that, you go explain. <laughs> you go explain, 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 no evidence. <laughs> It's crazy, man. Like, like, what? I'll, I'll, I think Polish is nice. I've heard a lot about Poland. I would love to be there, and it's cool. You know, go, <laughs> you know, go Poland. You know, here I say, if you walk on number nine or number six, you go. He, if you call every seventy times or sixty times, person never understand because they get different ways to talk up. Now, number eleven, you there for the list. So play. So let's go to the the, the top ten now. Like the. The real top 10. And 
I'm at this stop. You know, you as we are going down, it's like it's becoming more difficult. Hope say, so, you know, if I've not mentioned your country <laughs> that you are going to, <laughs> and I'm going to mention them in this top 10, just know that. <laughs> May you run. May you run. Come on. Though I'm not scared you, actually, I'm not scared you. Like, it's cool. Like, you can you can go to these countries. It doesn't matter. So far, um, so some people are still speaking English there, and you can definitely learn. They're nothing too difficult. It's not as difficult as mass languages like calculus, programming, and if people can learn it, then you can. Yeah. So number 10 in the list is Finnish language. Finnish. Hmm. If you learn this one, just know you are Finnish. <laughs> just know you are Finnish if you learn how to speak this this Finland. And, I, and I've been doing some, some videos of people let, letting people to understand that Finland needs people and let them relocate to Finland. And I'm now telling you that like to learn Finnish is like the tenth most difficult languages on my list. It's crazy. I'm not making you scared. It shouldn't get you. Uh, you shouldn't lose hope that okay, because of the language you won't go. There are many people speaking English in Finland. Yes, there are many blacks in Finland. Yeah, so six million people speak Finnish, and Finland is more than six million. It's just six million. So you can go there. And like, so why is it difficult to learn? A Finno or Greek language finnish features a complicated verb conjugation case system consonant gradation and clitics for instance it's it's 15 grammatical cases mean that even the slightest change in the end of the word can alter its meaning yeah so maybe i have a word like um um gender or or bottle and i take off the e from it um, the name don't change you you know, sometimes in English language, you cannot just have a word like, like bottle, and I forget to um, write the last letter, and you just complete it for me. I'm not try am <laughs> Don't try am <laughs> because if you cover the last letter, if you if you if you be swear, we won't swear for the person. <laughs> they go change up. You are finished. <laughs> you are finished. So if you're actually spelling in. In 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 Finnish, make sure say they use grammarly. <laughs> they use grammar. May nobody say you forget to write one letter for the end. May nobody say that swear. They swear for the person with the right hand. So they fit change them for you. So that's that. That's like Finnish. Then the ninth most difficult language in the world is is Hungarian, Hungarian, Hungarian. But forget to people, Ninja people, they Hungarian plenty. You like like English speakers are there. I'm telling you, English speakers are in Hungary, and. The people that speak Hungary is um, um, Hungarian, most definitely, Romanian, and Slovakia. These people speak Hungary. Yeah, so um, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. 13 million people speak it, though. So let's go. And why is it difficult to learn? Um, is an oglu... Hey, even this is my English, chef. I cannot even speak it. Even this is my English. <laughs> Ong... Hungarian is an agglutinative language. This means that rather than containing individual prepositions, prefaces, and suffixes are added onto the word. Often, one word in Hungarian equals a whole sentence. <laughs> no must for translation. No. If I just tell you, Obi is a boy that wants to leave Nigeria to Afghanistan. If you use one word, they explain that long sentence. You for this for the, if you learn Hungarian, you know go explain. <laughs> like trust me, like you know go explain. Is that way you go explain? Explain tire. You go just one word. They don't know what you mean. So <laughs> just one word. They are done. Let's go to the next one. Icelandic. Icelandic. Wow, people that speaks it is the Iceland. Iceland speaks Icelandic. Hope you're learning. I just hope you're learning. Icelandic are spoken in Iceland. Are you aware? Are you aware? Are you aware? The Icelandic language remains one of the hardest languages to learn, which makes sense considering the language language hasn't changed since it settled in the 9th and the 10th century. Hmm. The, the archaic language is made up of extremely long words. Why the specific syllables are pronounced entirely different from the typical English syllables? The language is also known for having very confusing conjugation. That means Iceland was the long. That means this one, only one word. You can't be saying one talk sentence. You go explain. You go explain. Taya. 
no evidence. <laughs> you go explain it, yeah. So, um, let's go to the next one. Hindi. 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 Which, I think Hindi is for the Indians. Okay, yeah. It's mostly spoken in India. And guess what? 615 million people speak this language. You go multiply Nigeria times three. 200 times three. Wow, that's a lot. Pakistan also speaks it too. And Fiji speaks it too. 650 million people. Why is Hindi so difficult to learn? Descending from the Asian South Asian language of Sanskrit, Sanskrit. Hindi is a phonetic langu language, but many sounds are foreign to English speakers. Meanwhile, the written version of Hindi, which is written in Devanagari script, lacks certain phonetic marking that would help learners better comprehend how to pronounce words. Woo. That is, they know, they know, they know to the ta 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 ta. <laughs> okay, let's not waste much time. Let's go to the sixth, the Vietnamists. Yeah, people, uh, the language Vietnamese is the number sixth on my list. And if um, you don't know this, you're knowing now. Seven, seven million people speak Vietnamese. I can't relate. Like seven, seven million people lives in Vietnam. Wow, that's a powerful country. And the, the country that speaks it is Vietnam, as I've said. Ooh, so let's go to number five. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I choke Thailand. Thai. I manage learn Thai. I, at least I manage no one to ten. Thai is fu like, it's, it's crazy. It's fucking difficult to learn, man. It's fucking difficult to learn. Um, noon, song, psalm, C, C, na four, ha, ha, na five. <laughs> Which one be ha? Ha, where they use the shouts for Nigeria? Ha, na five. Hook, where they use the hook fish, na six. <laughs> J, he <laughs> joma. J, na seven. Ped, ped, na na eight. Gao, gao. Alaga, no, 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 no. Agao, gao, gao, na na nine. Ten, na sip. Sip, the sip, zubu. At least I managed them one to ten. At least, at least if I device something, I know how to take it with my things. Like it's really difficult to, to learn. And this is the reason. Thai is a tonal language. To understand it, you must recognize the pitch of your tone. Yes. I feel talk one thing, and if um I change my tone, it means an entirely different thing. Like it's I could change my tone five different ways that means five different things, which makes it very, very difficult. Like if I say Tyrak is one meaning, Tyrak. Is another meaning. Tyrak is another meaning. Tyrak is another meaning. So you have to know the tone. So instead, may you focus on the learn the, the words. May you focus the learn the the tone. And to the hear tone. Go be like to go go explain that yeah nothing. So let's go to the next one. Korean ah. This one, I don't, I don't even need to tell you why it's difficult. You Nigerian watch a lot of Korean movies, so you know why Korean is really difficult. So I'm not going to go much, but North Korea speaks Korea, South Korea speaks Korea, and they are spoken by 80 million people. I think Asians are fucking much, man. They are so much. Asian. Woo! The third one is Japanese. I can't still tell you why it's difficult. I think Asian, live, live language for Asia. Live language. Does no follow any Asian person argue for language. Just live the language for Asia. Asia languages are like you go sweat. Like you need AC like to, to learn it. Like you need to eat three times a day if you really want to learn Asia. Like Spanish is easy. Ah, Spanish is not even there. It's not easy now. Spanish, all those ones are simple, simple language. But I see... Asian language, stop playing. Number three, Japanese. Number two, I'm very sure it's, a, it's, a, it's an Asian or um, more Arabic. Number two is Arabic, spoken by 274 million people. Arabians, Arabian Peninsula, the Middle East, and North Africa speaks Arab, Arabic. And now on, you listen from right to left. I know, from, yes, from right to left. And it's really, really very difficult. So let's go to um, the next one, which is 
the last, the number one most difficult. If you know you've waited up to this time and you know that this new thing is informing you and is you are learning from it, please subscribe to this my channel. Like I'm going to make this so informative. This channel is going to be like you know get as you want be where you go. You see this channel, you know go learn. I'm going to tell you. You see that you are learning how to japa or you are learning. Um, okay, you, I'm, I'm going to be hosting people on this on this on this channel. So stop playing. This channel is going to be choked. It's small, but it's it's heading somewhere. Yes, it's heading somewhere. So the number one, the number. Okay, subscribe. Oh, that's why I'm saying that. Oh, subscribe and share this video to any platform so you can so people can see it. So the number one, the kapata of the old language. This country, if you see this country, if you see this language, run, run for your life. No try, say you won't go there, go manly, say you won't learn this language. You will you will you will you will you will kill yourself. <laughs> Do you want to kill yourself? Show fair bad and you want to, you, you want to bite your tongue. You want to bite your tongue? Then learn this language. This is the hardest language that you ever see in this world. Do you want to know the language? No try, say you won't learn this language. No try, yeah. No even, no even go there. It's called, it's called, it's called the Mandarin. The Mandarin language. The Mandarin language. Have you heard of the language? Do you know which country speaks the Mandarin? The Mandarin language is spoken by 1.3 billion people. The Mandarin language is spoken by 1.3 billion people. Stop playing. Are you joking? 1.3 million, even me, I don't know this. I'm just getting to find out this. 1.3 billion people. And the, speak, and the people that speak the Mandarin are the Chinese, the Taiwan, the Malaysians, the Indonesians, and the Singaporeans. I hope this, this information makes someone, if someone is learning the Mandarin. Wow, the Mandarin. And let's see why it's difficult to learn. Despite being the most widely spoken native language in the world, Mandarin Chinese tops the list of the toughest languages to learn. The language requires the memorization of thousands of special characters. <laughs> oh, you learn 26 characters, A to Z. You reach this one, you go so far. My brother, you go so far, you go learn thousands of characters. Like, did they read them to A to 20? You, you go reach Z, you go continue. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, you go reach Y, X, and X, Y, Z, Q, P, 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 you go continue, you no go stop till you reach um, 2000. <laughs> the, 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 the tonal language also has four tones. So one word can be pronounced four different ways. <laughs> one word, if you pronounce it four different ways. Why each pronunciation has different meaning hmm. okay subscribe to my channel if you find this thing very easy um i thought say i want to teach you mandarin but it passed my power i go look for persuasive to speak this mandarin we go there for this the person, anybody can, I can speak like i'm not sure saying go still get brain to speak english but i go try and find the person <laughs> we we'll go interview them. Like, this channel is going to be very educative. It's, it's promised to be engaging. Like, it's promised to, promises everything. You don't even know what to expect, but trust me, it is going to be educative at any point. Thank you very much. See, I see you in my next video. And I leave this one here. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful day. Bye. So.